Verse of the Day October 7, 2022 Jonah's Prayer There are times when each of us isn't happy to do what we know God wants us to do. Jonah chapter 2, verses 5 to 7 Devotion Jonah's Prayer I love the book of Jonah, the poor guy. He doesn't want God to spare his enemy, so he runs in the opposite direction when God calls him to preach a mission of repentance to Nineveh. We all know what happens, the boat begins to sink, he admits to offending his God and gets thrown overboard. He prays and God rescues him, although he does it in an unorthodox manner. Of course, he eventually does what God wants him to do, but still isn't happy because the people of Nineveh are saved. We probably don't run from God in such a dramatic way, but there are times when each of us isn't happy to do what we know God wants us to do. We also don't wind up in the belly of a fish, but we do run to God to save us from whatever mess we get ourselves into. We should be grateful that God keeps saving us. Sometimes Jonah reminds me of my children. As a parent, I would warn them about the problems that they could get into if they did certain things. But they often didn't listen, and I was expected to fix whatever needed to be fixed. I loved it when my son decided to climb into the dishwasher and it fell on top of him. I also was pleased when one of my daughters decided to help with the laundry, and the sweater I had spent hours on for her father came out of the machine small enough to fit her doll. Then there were the scrapes and bruises. Just like Jonah, we God's children don't always pay attention to our father and need salvation. Hopefully, we have Jonah's sense to call upon our father to help us, believing in his love for us. Let us pray. Loving and forgiving God, thank you for your patience with us, your rebellious children. May we always have the good sense to turn to you in times of distress, confident that you will be there to save us. Amen.